Good evening, and you are extremely welcome to a brand new episode of Only Connect. Even though with our size of audience, usually about two million, it is overwhelmingly likely that several of you will have done some really terrible, unforgivable things that remain entirely unpunished. Nevertheless, enjoy the quiz. Joining me to play it are, on my right, Charlie Deeks, an outreach worker who once met David Miliband on the London Underground, Sam Hayfield, a university administrator who plays trombone in an orchestra that he also conducts for, though not at the same time, and their captain, Anna Hayfield, a sociology graduate who always lands on her right foot when climbing stairs. <laughs> United by a devotion to Dungeons and Dragons, they are the Dungeon Masters. Anna, I see you share a surname with one of your teammates. Coincidence? No, um, we're married and we uh, made a portmanteau of our surnames to create a new one, so we're the first Hayfields of our kind. <laughs> <laughs> Delightful. You will be facing tonight, on my left, Kieran O'Brien, a keen book collector who has eaten a souffle made by Mary Beard, Michael Horton, an amateur DJ who enjoys exploring whales in his camper van, and their captain, Paul O'Brien, a cricket enthusiast who was forced to drink local alcohol by armed soldiers while holidaying in Serbia. <laughs> all hailing from the other side of the bridge, they are the Sevens. You also have similar... Are you also married? Is one of you O and the other one Brian? We yeah. are indeed a married couple, but sadly no portmanteau for us. Have you played quizzes together for a long time, or is it a new lockdown hobby? We've played a few online during the good times of lockdown. Well, the good times are over because they're here at Only Connect. <laughs> We're going to play round one. Dungeon Masters, you won the toss, but you've elected to put your opponents in first. So, sevens, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, could we go for lion, please? I don't see. Why not? You will see four apparently random clues. What connects them? Here's the first. St Thomas. And it's the hospital. No, do you want to measure Yeah. Next. Um... No, I don't. Patron saints of certain places. Uh, do they have yeah. sort of capitals named after them or something? I don't know. Should we move on? Next. Yes. Right. Yes, I think these are all countries, aren't they? Because surely that's some reason what we've got. Oh. St. Thomas. Dominica, maybe possible. I don't know. Should we see the yeah, last one? Yeah, one more. OK, one more. next, please. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, I think these saints are the origins of the names of countries. They are saints with countries named after them. Very well done. What are those countries? Well, definitely San Marino and St Lucia. Mm -hmm. um, either Dominica. Dominica or the Dominican Republic. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I'm stumped no. on the yeah, first one. It's the Dominican Republic, which is named after its capital, Santo Domingo, after St Dominic. Dominica, do you know how it gets its name? Sunday? Sunday. 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 Yes, it was because Christopher Columbus arrived there on a Sunday. And St Thomas, that's Sao Tome oh. and Prince of Bay. Dungeon Masters, what would you like? Can we have Twisted Flax, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Okay. It's in red. Mm -hmm. um, should we go? Yeah, I think so. Next, please. So that would be Miz. Oh, well, maybe it's Kondo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's Kondo. Yeah, it's 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 great. Um, these are uh, characters from Cluedo, their um, first part of their name, and then the colour that they are in Cluedo. So, Professor Plum, Miss, Miss Scarlet? Miss Scarlet. They are Cluedo honorifics. Let's bring them all up. Who are the other characters? Uh, Colonel Mustard. Reverend Green. Reverend Green. Reverend Green. Reverend Green, exactly so. And who is the murder victim? Black. Is Dr Black or, in the US... Mr. Body. <laughs> <laughs> They've not gone on a long journey there, have they? Mr. Mysterious Corpse is in the room. Very well done. You came in after two clues, so you get three points. Back to you, Sevens, for a turn. Uh, we will have water, please. Water. Okay. It's a music question. You'll be hearing your lovely clues. Shout next when you want another one. Yep. Here's the first. No, I don't know what it's called. Next. Come on, people, come on, children, come on, well, to the glory no, river. I don't. No, I no. no. Next. Then when my father died, then the no. 
it's God Save the Queen, right isn't it? Yeah. 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 And next. Jerusalem with their alternative forms of more famous. Two seconds. Are they alternative forms of more famous anthems? They are not. Dungeon Masters, do you know? Were they all originally instrumentals and the words were added later? That's not it. What did we hear? We think we heard God Save some, the Queen. Yeah, some form of God Save the Queen and some oh, form America of Jerusalem. My country, tis of thee. Ooh. Sung by the amazing Mahalia Jackson. And the last one? Uh, Jerusalem. See, it's not Jerusalem, it's the other one. I vow to thee, my country. <laughs> ah. Second one was Save the Country. Ah. The first one, Mavlast by Bedrick Smetana, my country, translates as. No points there. Dungeon Masters, what would you like for your own question? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would connect these clues? Here's the first. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Next, those. please. The positions of the words in something. So, like in a dictionary. Mm -hmm. I think we need to go next. Okay, yeah. next, please. Feels. Why are they all lowercase as well? Yeah, and it's one, one number less than like next, please. Two seconds. Do you read decimals? Charlie. We think they're all. Dewey decimal numbers for things. <laughs> they are not, I'm afraid. So it's a bonus chance for you, Sevens. If you turn the numbers upside down, you can kind of read a word that means the thing underneath. <sighs> That's exactly right. You asked the right question, Sam. Yeah. Why are they in lowercase? It is yeah. to do with the letters. If you could sort of, without bumping into your perspex screen, to look at them upside down, <laughs> we're looking at the old calculator classics. Legs in the first clue. What sphere? What does that say? Globe. 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 Oil and of course, hello. I can't believe they didn't do boobs. Why wouldn't they do boobs? I guess we're a family show. Very well spotted for the bonus, and you may get your own question. What would you like? Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What connects to these clues? Here's the first. Oh, there's butter snakes and grumble, gumballs or something like that. It's a children's book. They're kind of not nasty creatures. Move on, move on. Uh, next, please. No, no, no. Next, please. Um, I mean, she's tiny. She becomes tiny. There are times when she's tiny. She's not always tiny. She went the garbage pail. Garbage, 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 garbage kids. No, I think try and get okay, more. Next, I think goes. Please. What do you know about her? Nothing. Whether he becomes tiny, goes and becomes tiny. <laughs> okay. Do they all become tiny? You don't have a lot of respect for your wife's opinion, do you? Oh, I have an awful lot of respect. <laughs> they do all become tiny. Very well done. They are famous shrinkers. <laughs> Mrs Pepperpot, you remember, that is in the story. The Norwegian, of course, the original title, uh, Pepperpot, uh, is, translates as Tex Yek Jeringer, which means, of course, that's right, teaspoon lady. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry about the pronunciation. Already Norwegians are writing in furiously <laughs> to complain. I'm so sorry. And uh, what about the other clues? Is that Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Yes, that is the family uh, in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Right. Butter Snakes? Yeah, it, it sounds like a small a children's book that I remember. It is, it's a series, Butter Snakes and Gumbles, and they're, they're little weird creatures that live in the Australian bush, and they uh, shrink uh, when, they, when they get wet, and you have to hang them up to dry, and they go back to their normal size. And uh, Ant-Man, of course, in the Marvel comics. Well done. Dungeon Masters, no choice for you. The Horn Viper remains, and you're going to see some pictures. What do they have in common? Here's the first. That looks like the extra cheese. Next, please. Three pints or tankards. Oh, they're three different colours as well. Could that mean anything? Um, Maybe. Uh, next, please. Is that seal? Seal. It does look like seal, yeah. Oh, seal. Oh, they're all like that. Seal ales. Oh, oh yeah. Se seal and ales anagrams. Yeah, yeah, oh. I'd go with that. They're all anagrams of each other. Very well done. Who do you think would have been at clue four? Mm. Um, 
a sale? <laughs> no, that's clue one. A clue one is yeah. sale, oh, the sale rugby sale. team. Yeah. It would be Elsa from Frozen. Oh, ah. yeah. And what are those middle two clues? Uh, seal and ales. That's exactly right. That means at the end of round one, the sevens have three points, the dungeon masters have five. <laughs> round two is the sequences round. What comes forth in a sequence? Sevens, you'll be going first again. What would you like? Uh, the twisted flax, please, Victoria. OK, you'll be seeing the first in a series of clues. I want to know what comes forth. Time starts now. No. I would have an acute access to it. Yeah. OK, shall we move on? Yeah, yeah what can it be? Yeah. Uh, three yeah. yeah. OK, um, go on. Next. Oh, oh they're both types of flight, but yeah, I can't see anything else. Can no, I? no. OK, uh, mm. next. No, I'm not sure. Mm. Um, I'm not no. Melee. Fight. Yeah. Is it to do with two seconds? <laughs> Fighting. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Dungeon Masters, do you know? Charlie knows this one. I, I think it's ultimate. It is ultimate, and why? Um, they're all Super Smash Brothers games. It's SSB, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and what is Super Smash Brothers? So it's it's a game by Nintendo where they sort of get all of the different uh, characters from Nintendo and elsewhere to fight each other, basically. <laughs> yeah, exactly so. Simple as that. And uh, uh, the fourth in the sequence that came out in December 2018, Ultimate, of course. Yeah. An exciting moment for us. I don't know about you. I slept outside the shop. <laughs> <laughs> ultimate is the answer. So you get the bonus point. And what would you like for your own question? Charlie, you can. Uh, can we have Lion, please? Yes, you can. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Okay, next, next, next please. Ten, twenty-four. Um, do you guys have any ideas? Is it something to do with how many factors there are of those numbers? But then, what would the sequence be? Yeah, what is it? I think we just go. Is it? Um, do we need to go? Numbers or anything like that? Maybe. Uh, Shall we go? Oh, I, I think, think we, we need to go next. At the top. Yeah, but go on. Go next. next, please. And then we have ideas. One, one. Yeah. Uh, one over one. I'm afraid that's not the answer. Sevens, no, do you I know? know. Um, we're going to go for three over two. Is the right answer. And why is that? <laughs> I'm hoping you're going to tell me why that is, because it was a complete guess. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what it is. The top number is the sum of the numbers 1 to 5, then 1 to 4, then 1 to 3, then 1 to 2. And the lower number is the product. In other words, if you add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you get 15. If you multiply 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 by 5, you get 120. And so on. So 1 to 5, 1 to 4, 1 to 3, and the number's 1 to 2. If you add them, you get 3. If you multiply them, you get 2. Does that help? Good guess, Paul. Well, it, it does, well done, yes. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I didn't need the rationale, only the answer, so you get the bonus. Take that. Yeah, and you may choose your own question. Well, let's, uh, let's try the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. OK, you're going to see some pictures. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Tie shoes. shoes. No. Okay, uh, let's next. see. <laughs> blue. blue. A blue man. Yeah, tall, okay. blue. Or lace blue. Which we see. Yeah, more. another one. Next. Blue. Tie. Shoe. Blue. Shoe. Shoe. Blue. Is it something from a book or something? Three seconds. A zoo. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Dungeon Masters. Do you want to have a go for a bonus? A coup. That's not it either. <laughs> what do you think you're looking at? Well, a, a shoe. Mm -hmm. Something blue. Well, not just a shoe. What's happening to the shoe? Well, it's being tied. tied. Yes, or laced. Would you lace my shoe? And the next one? A blue man. <laughs> face. Paint your face bright blue. 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 Catch a kangaroo, oh, anything. Oh. Go to Timbuktu oh, and wow. back again. Oh, from okay. Oliver. Yeah. The song from Oliver. You know oh. that song? Yeah. 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 
sausage. What, fisty cuffs? Yeah, that <laughs> Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I've been to Timbuktu. And back again. I actually brought back a really horrible <laughs> gut infection. <laughs> they are the lyrics of the song, I'd do anything, yeah, and I okay. wanted to hear something to do with going to Timbuktu. Dungeon Masters, what would you like? Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. OK, what will come forth in this sequence is the first. It's going to be you or you in. Yep. Next, please. OK, so is this going to be, be like... Um, I mean, there are lots of letters that could go in front of either of those, really. Yeah, but they could spell letters that are the order of something, so... Oh, so you, you maybe going back? So what would be... Or E... T U, yeah. So R, like. Do you think? Oh, next, oh, next please. Yeah. So what would be? Two seconds. Blank R E. I'm afraid that's not the answer. Sevens, do you know? Is it blank R E? I'm afraid that no. is the answer your opponents gave. Oh, sorry. I didn't give it to them, so I'd feel bad giving it to you. <laughs> is it something... You are terribly close. What do you think the connection is? So, it's... you add a letter to spell a letter and it's going backwards in the alphabet, so... But you don't always. add just any letter. You add... you add the letter you're making the homophone yeah. for. Oh. So, you add the letter O to W-E to make O, add a P to E-A for the word P, Q for Q, so I need A blank E. It's the R oh, that gosh, has yeah. to be missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very unlucky. Homophones for letters. Uh, very close, but not quite right. Sevens, what would you like? Could we have water, please? Yes, you could. What will come forth in this sequence is the first. Okay, she's, yeah, she is. Are we going back? I don't know. Yeah. Shall we see what the next one is? Next. No. So no. Yeah. Yeah. And then have a. Yeah. Okay. Move on next. I don't know. Who was before? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. it's as good a guess as any. Some isn't American it? politician. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, so you could probably, um, well, hold on. What was Ryan Republican? Three seconds. Come on. Um, Dick Cheney. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Dungeon Masters, do you know? Is it Nancy Pelosi again? The answer is Nancy oh, Pelosi. Well done, Charlie. And why is that? We think it's the Speakers of the House of Representatives going forwards. And that is Nancy Pelosi's second stint. One question remains. That will be for you, Dungeon Masters, the, uh, the Horn Viper. What comes forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Hell at the Crucible in Sheffield. So. Hell at the Crucible in Sheffield. Okay. okay. Next, please. Yep. Oh, these are going to be on specific times of year, or how many times they happen a year? Yeah, maybe, well, I think they're once a year, but I think I would go next. Next, please. So in the next round. OK. This is a sports I, don't, so I don't know anything about We're this. looking at you here. Transfer deadline days, there's two of those. Oh, three of those, maybe it's something with four of them. So you think but it's in sports. Four, but a sports thing that happens four times a year. Yeah, so maybe just say that. Um, Two seconds. Go ahead, Charlie. Um, we will go for divisional games in the NFL. <laughs> and why would that be? Tell me exactly. There are four of them a year. I am looking for something that happens four times oh, a year well done, in Charlie. sport, or four times in a usual year. Obviously, okay. uh, we've had an unusual year, but that is absolutely right. Wow. Tennis That's grand right. slams. We went for any sporting event that might normally happen four times. Well done. That means at the end of round two, the sevens have four points, the Dungeon Masters have nine. <laughs> Time now for the connecting wall, the 16 jumbled up clues, and it's your chance to go first on sorting them out. Dungeon Masters, would you like lion or water? Lion, please. OK, we have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Uh, types of law. OK, so IP what have we law, got? Tax IP, law, tax law, commercial law, commercial law and property, criminal. Criminal or property or competition. So OK, that's too well. many. Um, toxic, it's Britney Spears song and okay. is circus. These are Britney Spears songs, stronger. lucky and stronger. OK, so there's going to be one more in there. It could is it sometimes? Sometimes. sometimes. OK, so I'm going to leave out 
toxic. I'm going to leave out lucky. I'm going to leave out coffee stronger. Beans, coffee beans, spring I'm going to leave beans, out circus. There we go. Oh. Hell's yeah. What were you saying? Coffee beans? I don't hear the other beans. OK, now. sorry. What was it? Coffee house, commercial house, something. Hmm. Um, oh, basil. Could there be herbs somewhere basil, in here? Basil, yeah. Are there any others? I don't see, see any. Um, OK, so should we try law again? Now that we... Well, none of those were law, were they, that we got rid of? What could villa be? A villa's a place? Well, a villa and a basilica are both just... Um, are they circular? Like a circus? Yeah, and maybe a forum tent? and a circus. There we go. Yeah. OK. okay. So now we've got, now. Um, So types of law and then what else? So spring and coffee are not going to be types of law. So what could spring and coffee be? Um, a spring clean, a coffee cup, uh, a coffee morning. Ring and fee they end in. OK, I'm going to just go for some laws. So I think IP. Property. Property. Competition. You've got 30 commercial. seconds. Competition. Commercial. Nope. You need to attempt. I would swap out competition for criminal because competition seems like it could be a couple of different things. Commercial and property? Yeah. OK, I'll do okay. that more. Hold on, let's have a think. Yeah, I don't know. Inspector. Spring. spring. Tax inspector. Ten seconds. Spring. Springboard, tax coffee. board, coffee, coffee, coffee Just morning. Just click one. Oh, I'm afraid gosh. that's not Shame. it. That's your third life. The wall has <laughs> frozen. But you found two groups, and what about the connections? Stronger, sometimes lucky, toxic. These are Britney Spears songs. Good knowledge. They are Britney <laughs> Spears songs. And the next one, Basilica, Circus, and so on. Roman origin gathering places? Uh, buildings of Roman origin, that's right. Good job, Charlie. And uh, you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There we go. Competition, criminal, IP, property. These are types of law. Those are the types of law. And the last group, spring, commercial, tax, coffee. Types of houses. No, you're going to kick yourselves. It is types of break. Oh, oh yeah. gosh. Spring break, which is what I yeah. think Americans call the Easter holidays. A commercial break, a tax break and a coffee yeah. break. Yeah. But you found two groups and you gave me three connections. That's a total of five. So let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other wall, the water wall, and see how they get on. Hello again, Sevens. You have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. So, have we seen anything yet? I think we should come and blow, or something. Sorry, Mike. Uh, can you blow, blow a fuse? Mm. Um, <laughs> um, five, four, three, two, one, that's a song, isn't it? No. Um, yeah. Well, it's triangular Summersby. That's that man who wasn't who he said he was. Yeah, isn't it? but I can't see any other versions no, of that. It's got Richard Gere in it, okay. doesn't it? I think. Um, but, and Elysium is kind of heaven. Oh, yeah, hell. It's, yeah. It's paradise, isn't it? I can see marble, stone, plaster. Can you make things out of these, like statues, jade, maybe? Give it a try. Yeah. No. Pragadoite, maybe? Have you, have you any idea? Yeah, no, I don't know what it is. Things you can blow, maybe, or yeah. lose, or something like that. Maybe. Lose your temper. Yeah. Or short, short fuse, Cir short circuit. circuit, short Short ribs. Short ribs. Short, ribs. short odds. Yeah. Short odds, so yeah. I'm going to miss out yeah. ribs this yeah. time. Yeah. Miss out fuse. OK. okay. Yeah. Um, taxi driver. Plaster, something you can stick, but we've had... Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. You said song, but it's I... Manfred, man. Yeah. Um, marble arch. Um, is, it are they all, is marble a form of something? Are they all forms of the same thing? Yeah, like possibly. Pragadite. Yeah, yeah, try it. Pragadite, Stone. marble, jade. And... Do you know what, they're, no. what marble is a form of? Is it calcium? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. No. Uh, yeah, so what could fuse be? Because it wasn't the short thing, so what, what else could Glow. that fuse? Yeah. I don't Are they parts of a circuit? Ten seconds. Parts of a circuit. Fuse. Contact. But then I can't see any other things. OK. Sorry. No, that's fine. Um, oh, that's it. The time is up and the wall has frozen. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind my making that noise. You've yeah. been so close well, many times. Yes. But you found one group, and can you tell me the connection? Odds, circuit, temper, and so on. So, but... Uh, short. Things that can be short. They can follow short. And you can get points for the connections of the groups you didn't find. So, let's resolve the wall. Yeah. Pagodite, jade, plaster, stone. 
things you can make statues out of. You can try things you can make statues out of, that's exactly it. They're just sculpting materials, oh. but you put marble in the group oh, every time. time. Those are the four sculpting okay. materials. And the next group, Taxi Driver, Elysium, Summersby, Contact. Are they films with, I don't know, Jodie Foster or someone like that? OK, uh, yeah, films with Jodie Foster. They are films with Jodie well Foster. Done, well, done, well, well spotted at the end yeah. there. And the last group, Marble, Fuse, 54321, Maverick. Something to do with flying? No, I don't know. No. Flying. No, nothing we're using. No. They are in the sense that I've eaten them all on flights. They are chocolate bars, discontinued oh. chocolate bars. Ah. Yeah. But well done, Kieran, for spotting those connections once the wall was resolved. You found one group, you gave me three connections. It's a total of four. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The Sevens have eight points. The Dungeon Masters have 14. And if you'd like to take part in Only Connect, even if you're on your own, you might need to be introduced to some fellow quizzers, then why not go to the website, bbc.co.uk slash onlyconnect, to find out how you can join in. Time for round four, the missing vowels round, where you can lose points as well as win them, so buzz with care. Fingers on the buzzer teams. I can tell you that the first group of disguise clues are all cops. Dungeon Masters? Chief Wiggum. From The Simpsons. Sevens? Dixon of Doc Green. Correct. Sevens? Lieutenant Columbo. Correct. Dungeon Masters? Cressida Dick. Yes, it is. Next category, robbers. Sevens? Dick Turpin. Mm -hmm. Correct. Dungeon Masters? The Forty Thieves. Well done. This is a tricky one from Sherlock Holmes. It's Irene Adler. Next clue. Sevens. Ronnie Biggs. Correct. Next category. British actors and their Shakespearean roles. Sevens. Glenda Jackson and King Lear. Correct. Dungeon Masters. Maxine Peake and Hamlet. Yes, it is. One. This is Janet McTeer and Petruchio. People will be shouting that at home. But the bell has gone for the end of the quiz and looking at the final scores, the sevens finish with 13 points, the Dungeon Masters with 18. So very well done to you. You are straight through to the next round. Sevens, I'm delighted to say we're not saying goodbye. You'll have another chance to get through to the next round later in the competition. So we'll be seeing all of you later in the series. Although I won't be here next week because I'm doing a job swap with Gillette Soccer Saturday's Jeff Stelling. So he'll be in the chair asking two teams of philatelists whether Arsenal should play a back five. Meanwhile, I'll be on Sky showing Chris Kamara, Tony Cotty and a bemused Charlie Nicholas a series of Egyptian hieroglyphs. Good night. <laughs>